we're going to prove that the sum of the spaces of all the subspaces given by generalized eigenspaces corresponding to distinct eigenvalues of a certain operator t on a finite dimensional complex vector space V give the whole space. It is important to assume the space is complex. We know that for real spaces some operators do not even have eigenvalues. So it, it has to be complex and let's start by saying what's the property of complex operators that we're going to use is exactly this one, that it has at least one eigenvalue. So how does the proof go? We take lambda 1 as some eigenvalue of t. We know it has 1, so take 1 and call it lambda 1. And I'll consider this operator n that I will define as t minus lambda 1 times the identity. And we know that v can be decomposed as the kernel of this operator to the power n, where n is the dimension, direct sum and the range of n to the power of the dimension of the space. So if we call this, so this is the generalized eigenspace, and this is, let's call it just u. No? So I'm defining u to be exactly equal to this. And we know that by the previous lemma, u is invariant under t. So why? Because u is the range of some polynomial of our operator t. So u is invariant. So we can define an operator s as the restriction of the operator t on the space to the space u. And since u is invariant, s takes values again in u. So s is an operator defined on u and taking values on u. And first, let's note that lambda 1 is not an eigenvalue of this operator. And why not? Because all eigenvectors corresponding to eigenvalue lambda 1 of the operator t, they are already on this space, on this subspace. And if they are on this subspace, they cannot be on that subspace at the same time. So they are not in u. So if no eigenvalue lambda 1 is in u, then lambda 1 cannot be an eigenvalue of s. And since lambda u, lambda 1 is an eigenvalue, the dimension of this space is at least 1, which means the dimension of this subspace is at most n minus 1. So we can do an argument by induction on the dimension, and this is what we are trying to show. We can assume this holds for spaces of smaller dimension. So that's written here by induction on dimension of v. We can assume that the the theorem actually holds for u, because u is an operator on a space which is also complex but has smaller dimension. So u can be decomposed as direct sum of generalized eigen spaces of this operator S with respect to all its distinct eigenvalues. And now we note that all eigenvalues of S must be eigenvalues of T. So these are also eigenvalues of t. Okay. So writing back, u, if u is this, and we substitute it here, we have this the, the composition for v. v is the direct sum of its generalized eigenspace with respect to one eigenvalue, direct sum with generalized eigenspaces, not with of t, but of s, with respect to all the eigenvalues of S, which are also all, uh, all of them are eigenvalues of T. Okay. So we have this S here, which is rather inconvenient. Without this S, if it was T instead of S, this would finish the proof. So we now have to show that this is actually, each one of these actually is the same as the generalized eigenspace of the same eigenvalue, but with respect to T, we just omit the proof of this fact, the fact that this equals this. It's a very tedious and otherwise uninteresting proof. We will not show it.
omit it and if you want the details you can see the proof is just like this on the textbook.